What's up, guys? Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about how to learn BJJ on a budget. Now, we all know BJJ is super expensive, super expensive. It's like, uh, you know, it ranges from, let's say, 150 to 200 even more per month. Okay. And, oh, prices, I, I guess they're probably going to keep going up and all that. Now, just a little bit of background on myself. I've done BJJ for six years. So I did it when I was uh, 30 years old, up until 36. And then I trans transitioned, but sorry, over to judo, right? So I started judo at 36 and I'm 44 right now. So I've been doing this for a minute. And yeah, let me tell you, man, you, already get, you guys already know where I'm headed with this. Do judo. And the reason why is because BJJ comes from judo. So long story short, there was a Japanese judoka who ended up in Brazil back in the day, then taught some Brazilians, you know, judo, but he had a, um, a slight preference for groundwork. He was using a lot of groundwork. And of course, they took a liking to it and then worked on that a lot more and used that to do basically some street fighting. And they came up with their own uh, style, so to speak, right? But everything that you see in BJJ exists in judo. The original techniques are found in judo. Now, what's different is the rules of the sport. That's why in judo, it's very, we don't spend a lot of time on the ground, but it is still a very important uh, aspect of judo. Um, and yeah, so you can learn all of the Nawaza techniques that exist in BJJ in judo. But the rules are different. So that's where you have to um, do a little bit of mods here and there, you know. But let me explain to you guys how you would go about doing that. Let me just play a video for you guys in the background and show you what judo Nawaza looks like. And then when you're going to look at it, you're going to be like, hey, that's, that's pretty similar, you know. And, well, I already explained why. But let me play this video. All right. Oops, didn't you guys see that? Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. And voila. So if you guys are interested in watching this video, just go on YouTube, type in uh, Kodokan Newaza, right? And you'll see what's up. Okay, so that would be the first thing. You join, you do judo. So judo is really cheap. Because it's an Olympic sport, any Olympic sport tends to be cheap because it has a lot of uh, backing behind it by the, um, uh, by the federation. And all so voila, you know, now judo is a big sport, it's practiced in like 170 ish countries, I believe. And yeah, there's a big infrastructure uh, in place, um, you know, for the whole thing. And in every country, some countries it's more popular than others, of course. But I mean, yeah, and that's one of the reasons, I guess, why it's uh, that cheap. We're talking, I remember when I started judo like eight years ago, it was $30 per month which is really nothing for like three classes a week. Now, my coach at that time, he, he told me um, it was more something like in France. He was from France and he was telling me like $90 for a whole year or maybe 120 uh, euros, sorry, 90 or 120 euros for like a whole year. And you had, I think, more than three classes a week. Like, and they had a lot of high level guys over there. Like France is, I think, uh, number two on the world stage. Um, this year or, you know, whatever, but uh, last I checked. So yeah, um, judo is cheap, man. So what I, what you would do is that you would take up judo and you would focus a lot on the ground game. So it depends on the school. Some schools are 50, 50, some schools 50, 50 in their approach. So 50% of it standing up 50% of it on the ground. Um, one of the guys in the, uh, in the community actually told me that in the U S they do a lot of groundwork, actually. Um, you know, they're kind of known for that and they're gripping. So if you're in the U S then judo schools are going to be pretty, um, uh, pretty open, not open, but it's going to be prevalent like the ground game, you know, it's going to be there. So you don't have to worry about that. You're going to learn ground game. Of course, it's going to be to, um, it's going to be adapted to the rules of judo, but I mean, you're still going to get the gist of it and you'll still be able to, to use it even in BJJ. Right. Um, okay. So that would be the first thing you join a judo club. And of course 
you focus on the newaza. And you see the video here, there's a lot, you're gonna see like there's so many, it's pretty deep guys. Like the, the newaza in judo, it's no joke. Like if you focus on it a lot, okay? And you make it a point to actually work it and to do a lot of uh, rolls, you know, randories on the ground and all that, you're gonna, you, you're gonna become good, man. You know, and you could even like a lot of judo players, you know, at a, at a, at a high level, at the international level, or even at the national level, they give guys, BJJ guys are run for their money, big time. And, you know, I'm just saying, man, like that's that's from my experience. And of course, once they pick up on the rule sets and they, they add a couple of techniques here and there, then they're, it's absolutely insane. You know, they have all the attributes that come from judo and they can do, and they can BJJ now. So it's even worse, right? Now, once you do that, what you could do as well is, um, well, you buy some courses online, you know, some, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, BJJ fanatics. You can go do that, right? You wait until there's a discount and then you get a, you get a thing and you watch some videos. I would suggest though, like only buying videos of like guys who are very high level, you know, so that that way you get things right. You don't get like, uh, information that's, um, um, well, techniques or whatnot, or principles that are not, uh, as uh as tested you know that's just my opinion on it start with that until you get to a point where you really do understand uh like what actually works and what's kind of works in theory only okay now or check this out like if you have a friend who has uh you know an account with bjj fanatics and has videos well you could just ask him to uh you know to uh let you take a look right <laughs> Or even better yet, if you don't have any friends with uh, BJJ and fanatic things and uh, account, I mean, and you don't want to spend the money, you just YouTube it. There's so many uh, YouTube videos out there, okay, that you could in tutorials that you could watch for free, and just make sure you're watching stuff from guys who are at a very high level, who are tested, who who are champions in this, champions in that, who won a whole bunch of stuff, you know, who are legit essentially. Okay, especially at the beginning, because there's a lot of things out there. And, and some of the things that I've seen on social media, I don't know, man, it's not it's not really applicable. You know, it's like, yeah, it works in theory, but it doesn't actually work. Whereas you see in judo, all the newaza that you're going to learn in judo, all the techniques, the chokes, the, 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 the arm bars, you know, the positioning and all that, those things are solid. They're super solid, super, super, super solid. So that's why, like, you know, when you... When you have a good foundation of newaza, but you've worked it, you worked it hard. In judo, you're you're a force to be reckoned with already, you know. And then you add in some BJJ later on, man, you're gonna be you're gonna be great on the ground. So that's what you would do. You would uh, watch some videos uh, on YouTube, right? You would teach yourself, and then what you would do is also you could just ask your coach when you're doing your newaza. You know, just to make sure that you're doing things right, things that you're learning from uh, the club and things that you're actually learning from uh, the videos, right? Like that you're watching on YouTube. Now, don't necessarily tell him. It depends. You know, coaches are actually, um, I find, more open in judo, in the judo world than, than in BJJ. So if you tell them, hey, you know, I saw this technique and is this the right way to do it? You know, because this is how supposedly to do it in BJJ, but I want, you know, I want to know how to do it. Though. What do you think? Because I know it's, it all comes from judo anyway. And then after that, your coach is going to explain to you and gives you his take on it. Now, there's a lot of good things in BJJ. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that, um, uh, you know, it's uh, everything they, um, um, I'm not saying that it's, it's, it's not as good or anything like that, but I'm saying a lot of it already exists. Okay, there's nothing new under the sun. There's some variations here and there, but you know, it's essentially the same. Um, okay, now, and that's the thing, guys. Like, uh, this is not going to be a very long video, um, but the, the the most important thing is really what you need is mats and partners. Okay, now, what's the cheapest thing? <laughs> the cheapest way of getting access to mats and partners, and we're talking with the gi here. Okay, BJJ, but with the gi. Judo. <laughs> really cheap judo it's it's and and you know like i said like bjj stands for basically just judo i know it's 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 kind of uh uh it, you know i i find it funny and don't get me wrong guys like 
at this point, I started in BJJ and then uh, I'm in I'm in judo now, and I consider more myself a judoka than anything else. But I still love BJJ as well. It's something that I plan on continuing uh, doing and going back and going for my belts and all. But yeah, but this is for guys who like listen, man. You know, BJJ is all the um, all the hype right now. It's super popular. You want to learn it, but dude, money wise. Don't worry about it. Judo, right? And do what I told you. So judo, go to a judo club, focus on the newaza, mm, get access to some courses if you can, right? If you don't want to pay for it, maybe ask a friend who you know could show you some videos. YouTube, great resource. Ask your coach, of course, great resource and training partners. And a lot of guys cross train too. So don't, so remember that there's, there's, there's going to be like BJJ guys there as well. Right. And most of all, like the most important thing is to have partners to train with and mats. That's it. That's it. And I'm telling you, you're going to get far. Like if you go deep into the, um, the Newaza of judo, whew, I'm telling you, man, like you understand the transitionings, the positionings and all that. And these things are, are battle tested, you know, uh, like, in high level competition for what decades and decades now, you know, and these things work, man. These principles are super solid and all that. And, uh, you're gonna, um, you're gonna, your ground game is going to excel. And then of course, once in a while, what you can do as well is go for open mats. When there's open mats, look for open mats, uh, at the BJJ clubs and go there and roll. Or if you have friends who, you know, like maybe roll and, uh, go out, go to, um, who train at clubs, you know, you, you, you can check it out with them. Ha invite invite some guys over there or you get invited and then yeah you, you you train like that and so you can kind of pick up your your bjj like you know um while doing judo and then training with bjj guys here and there and then just you know watching videos like i i, I know a lot of high level um like the only guys the only judo guys that really um go do bjj is because they want their belts so they have to go to a specific school they have to go to a BJJ school, train, get their belts because it's always cool to have double black belt. So, and then after that, also because they want to compete and you know they want to better their newaza, really. But if you just want to, like, if you're starting off and BJJ is, uh, sorry, before I, I, uh, I elaborate on that, what I'm saying is that I have a lot of judo guys, judo friends who, who cross trained a lot in BJJ, just so that you know because well for fun. And they're really, really good on the ground. Like they pick some stuff up and then they, they sharpen up their, their own Niwaza and they picked up some BJJ and they're, they're, they're content with that. Like they could, uh, they do very well in BJJ. Now, of course, if you want your belts, eventually you have to, uh, you know, go to a BJJ school. But other than that, I think that you'll be quite satisfied, you know? And then once you're able to, once you, you get to the point where you, you, um, you could afford to go to a BJJ club, then then go, give it a shot, right? Um, I know a lot of clubs have free trials as well, so you could do that. But I, I get the feeling though, like unless you want your belts or if you just want to learn BJJ just for like, so that you can fight and all that, you could get all that from judo, right? And do what I just told you. But if you want to um, compete in BJJ and get your belts and all that, well, then you have to join a BJJ school. But uh, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. So tell me what you guys think. What's your opinion on this? Do you think that, uh, that this makes sense? Do you think that you would... Um, well, what would you do if you wanted to learn BJJ, but you're on a budget? If you have any ideas, post it down below. Um, but you know, my personal opinion is that if you're just learning BJJ for... You just want to go BJJ because, you know, for self-defense and all that, you might, by doing what I told you, right here in this video you you might never go like go to bjj and, and train bjj uh you, you you might feel that you never need to that's what that's just what i'm saying all right guys i hope that was helpful and uh yeah peace out hey how do i stop all this stop it